guys, so I'm back with my Blu-ray and DVD overview for the year of 2015. It's been long overdue. I've been really wanting to do another one of these for a long time now. Um, my last one was back in December 2013. And as you can see, my collection has grown fairly bigger since then. Um, and I've also bought these new shelves, as you can see. Much better than the way it was set out before. Um, so today I will be doing it slightly differently than I did last time. I, will, I, will, I won't be taking them out of a shelf. I'll just be uh, going along the shelves and just slightly taking them out maybe. Um, and uh, go along each shelf like that. So without further ado we'll start off with the Disney collection and the Disney Blu-ray classics. And first up we have... Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs, Pinocchio, Fantasia and Fantasia 2000. This is um, the DVD slip, but I've got the Blu-rays inside. Dumbo, Bambi, Cinderella, Alice in Wonderland, Peter Pan. This is the DVD slip, but I've got the Blu-ray inside. Lady and the Tramp, Sleeping Beauty, 101 Dalmatians, again the DVD slip but with Blu-ray inside, The Sword and the Stone, The Jungle Book, The Aristocats, Robin Hood, The Fox and the Hound, Oliver and Company, the Many Adventures of Winnie the Pooh. Um, I haven't um, been able to show this in my update because I completely forgot. Um, but this is a Blu-ray I bought a few weeks ago um, because I imported this from the US because it hasn't been released in the UK yet. Um, and uh, I couldn't wait for it to be released in, into the UK. I mean, it's been a long time coming and I don't know when it's going to be. So I just thought I might as well get the US version of the Blu-ray since I do have that multi-region Blu-ray player. So yep, yeah, that's Many Adventures Winnie the Pooh. And also, the same reason, I also got The Rescuers and The Rescuers Down Under. Um, the Rescuers is available on Blu-ray in the UK, but The Rescuers Down Under isn't. So I thought I might as well get the two movie collection, and it sort of saves a bit more space with the two in a really slim, slimline case. So that helps a little bit. Next up is The Little Mermaid. Beauty and the Beast. Aladdin, The Lion King 3D, The Lion King 2, Simba's Pride, also on Blu-ray. I think I forgot to show that on my update. Yeah, I think I did. <laughs> I've got had so many um, new um, Blu-ray stuff that I bought recently. And then I, and of course I've got The Lion King, Huna, the Lion King 3, Hino Makata. Ugh, Hakuna Makata. Hakuna Matata. I can't speak. Is that one? Carrying on, we've got Pocahontas, The Hunchback of Notre Dame, Hercules, Mulan, Tarzan, Lilo and Stitch, which you just saw in my update, The Princess and the Frog, Tangle, Frozen, that's the 3D Frozen. And then down here we've got the Pixar's, Toy Story, Toy Story 2, Toy Story 3, A Bug's Life, Monsters Inc, Ratatouille, Wally, -E, Up, Finding Nemo, which you just saw in my update, and The Incredibles, and Brave, and then Monsters University, which is just the DVD. I will be getting this on Blu-ray eventually. And then all the rest are our DVDs. A um, couple more Pixar's. We've got the Bix Pixar Short Films Collection Volume 1 and Volume 2. And then I've got Toy Story of Terror, the short. And also Toy Story that Time Forgot. And now on to the classic live action Disney's. 
Starting off with Old Yellow, Pollyanna, The Parent Trap, the original version with Hayley Mills, Greyfriars Bobby, Big Red, The Legend of Lobo, The Incredible Journey, the original um, 1960s version with uh, Teo, um, Lurath and Bodger. Those are the names of the cat, uh, the Labrador and the um, Bull Terrier. Then we've got Mary Poppins, The Ugly Dachshund, Charlie the Lonesome Cougar, which is a rare DVD, The Love Bug, Herbie Rides Again, Herbie Goes to Monte Carlo, Herbie Goes Bananas, Freaky Friday, the original um, version with Jodie Foster and Never Cry Wolf. Up here I've got a documentary short called Yellowstone Cubs and this one here I haven't got any artwork for but it is a very rare DVD I don't think it's actually ever been officially released of Nikki Wild Dog of the North. This is a Disney classic and I still haven't seen it yet but uh, this is one on my list, so yeah. Very rare, that one. And then down here, got some more of the recent live actions. We've got The Journey of Natty Gan, Benji the Hunted, Honey I Shrunk the Kiss, Cheetah, White Fang, White Fang 2, Myth of the White Wolf Homeward Bound, The Incredible Journey Homeward Bound lost, 2, Lost in San Francisco A Far Off Place Hocus Pocus A Nightmare Before Christmas Iron Will The Santa Claus 3 Movie Collection with the original Santa Claus 2, Mrs Claus and Santa Claus 3, uh, The Escape Clause and we've got James and the Giant Peach, 101 Dalmatians and 102 Dalmatians, the double feature. Airbud Special Edition, that's the original Airbud film. Can't be bothered with all those Air Buddies films. Flubber, The Parent Trap, the uh, Lindsay Lohan version. The Princess Diaries and The Princess Diaries 2, Royal Engagement. Tuck Everlasting. Pirates of the Caribbean, the four movie collection with Dead Man's Chest. Um, sorry, Curse of the Black Pearl, Dead Man's Chest, At World's End and On Stranger Tides. Freaky Friday. Confessions of a Teenage Drama Queen. Ice Princess, move along over here, uh, this is the uh, 4 disc extended edition of The Lion, the Witch and the Wardrobe and Chronicles of Narnia, this is one of my favourite DVD box sets, and then we've got uh, The Chronicles of Narnia, Prince Caspian and even though it's not released by Disney, The Chronicles of Narnia, The Voyage of a Dawn Treader. I like to keep the Narnia films together, so even though it's not related by Disney, it eh, doesn't really matter to me. Then we've got Eight Below, R.I.P. Paul Walker, um, Enchanted, Saving Mr. Banks, and Maleficent. Those are all the Disney live action movies. And then down here we'll go on to the Walt Disney Treasures collection. Um, this is a very, very rare um, collection here. Um, I've only got two of the authentic um, tins here. Um, they were really expensive, but I managed to get the Chronological Donald Volume 1. This is the uh, special tin that it comes in with the authenticity um, tick certificate inside.
And then we've also got Walt Disney Treasures, The Chronological Donald, Volume 2. And then slightly differently, these are uh, slightly more unofficial releases, but still authentic DVDs. I've also managed to acquire The Chronological Donald, Volume 3 and volume four these are from a website called sealvideo.co.uk um, which specializes in rare disney dvds so definitely check that website out if you get a chance and then this was officially released uh mickey mouse in living color volume one and mickey mouse in living color volume two again from seal video we've got the complete pluto volume one and volume two and then we've also got the behind the scenes at the Walt Disney Studio and your host Walt Disney so I'm really glad to have those in my collection even if it's not the authentic um, uh, DVD release so that's those then we'll move on to my Disney nature collection we've got Earth, this is just the DVD Try and move those like that a second. There we go. Uh, then we've got Crimson Wing. This is the DVD version with a nice shiny slip cover. And then I've also got the Blu-ray, which you saw in my earlier update. And then I've got Oceans. Wings of Life, which hasn't been released in the UK yet, so I imported it from the US. African Cats. So I still need to get the Blu-ray of this one. Chimpanzee, this includes the DVD and Blu-ray, which is unusual because it's got the Blu-ray in a DVD size case. Nice nice shiny slip cover there. And then finally Disney Nature's Bears. And that is my Disney collection. Um, just to show you quickly, up here I've got some Disney DVDs on show here. Uh, most of them are stored away in my boxes now. Um, so I've got Bambi and Bambi 2 box set, um, the Jungle Book, 101 Dimensions, Aladdin, Cinderella, the Lion King box set, the Toy Story box set, Monsters Inc, Finding Nemo, The Incredibles and Wally. -E. Um, I've decided to keep some of these DVDs up here because some of them have some more special features than the Blu-rays have, which sucks really, but um, yeah, so I thought I might as well keep the DVDs of these up here. The rest, as I say, are in my box. And so that's it for my Disney collection. We will move on to my next uh, set of movies uh, in a minute. I just need to uh, recharge and I'll see you in a second. Okay, okay, so moving on to my other movie collection. And without further ado, these are all in alphabetical order. Without further ado, we shall uh, start off with The Addams Family. The Adams Family Values, A Little Princess, uh, Along Came Polly, Babe and Babe Pig in the City, double feature, Back Home, Back to the Future, the trilogy, Best in Show, The BFG, Bridget Jones's Diary, Bridge the Terabithia, I know this is released by Disney technically, um, but it's also released by other um, companies in the UK, so I'm keeping it with my other movie collection at the moment. Then we've got Casper, Cheaper by the Dozen, one and two, Chicken Run, Chocolat, Coraline, Definitely Maybe, The Delinquents, The Devil Wears Prada, Edward Scissorhands, Hello Enchanted, Elf, E.T. The Extraterrestrial, Ever After A Cinderella Story, Fantastic Four, Fantastic Four Rise of the Silver Surfer, Fantastic Mr. Fox, Finding Neverland, The Fog, this is the um, 
remake uh, 2005 version with Tom Welling. Four Weddings and a Funeral. The Golden Compass. Good Night Mr. Tom. And then we've got Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone. Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets. Prisoner of Azkaban. Goblet of Fire. Order of the Phoenix. The Half Blood Prince. The Deathly Hallows Part 1. And the Deathly Hallows Part 2. And then we've got Hook, The Holiday, Hot Fuzz, How to Lose a Guy in 10 Days, I Do But I Don't, In Her Shoes, Ink Heart, Jack Frost, Julia and Julia, Jumanji, Just Like Heaven, Legally Blonde, Legally Blonde 2, Liar Liar, Made in Manhattan, The Mask of Zorro, Matilda and Madeline, Mean Girls, Meet the Parents, Meet the Cockers, Mirror Mirror, Miss Congeniality, Miss Congeniality 2 Miss Potter and the Mummy Ultimate Collection with the Mummy and the Mummy Returns and we'll move down here Mouse Hunt Monster in Law B Movie Mr. Bean's Holiday, Mrs. Doubtfire, Music and Lyrics, My Best Friend's Wedding, Never Being Kissed, Night at the Museum 1 and 2, Night at the Museum Secret of a Tomb, uh, Notting Hill, Peter Pan, Practical Magic, The Proposal, Puss in Boots, The Railway Children, School of Rock, The Secret Garden, The Secret, Mo the Secret of Moonacre, Shrek, Shrek 2, The Simpsons movie, Snow White, the fairest of them all, Spirit, Stallion of the Samaran, Spider-Man trilogy box set, Stardust, Stuart Little, and Stuart Little 2, Superman the movie, Superman 2 with the Richard Donner cut, And Superman Returns. And in last shelf down here we've got Sweet Home Alabama. There's Something About Mary. Twilight. New Moon. Eclipse. Breaking Dawn Part 1. And Breaking Dawn Part 2. Two Weeks Notice. Wallace and Gromit, The Curse of the Weir Rabbit. Watership Down, this is the Blu-ray. The Wedding Planner. The Wedding Singer. While You Were Sleeping. Who Framed Roger Rabbit. Wimbledon. The Witches. The Vow, 10 Things I Hate About You, 
13 going on 30, 27 dresses, and 50 first dates. So that's most of my other movies collection. And along here on this little white shelf here, we've got some more uh, other movies. Mostly um, to do with what animals, wild animals and pets and um, things like that. So um, up here, we've got Life of Pi. This is a Blu-ray. I'll take those off. I'll show them first, actually, if I can. There we go. Um, these are um, single DVDs of The Littlest Hobo TV Show. I've officially got the Season 1 and Season 2 on DVD, which was released. But the rest of the series, uh, Series 3 to 6, hasn't been released on DVD properly. So these are just recordings that I bought from someone. Um, some of them are the old black and white version. Um, some of them are the original. Uh, some, of the, some of them are the 70s version. So yeah, that's those. Um, and then we've got Life of Pi. This is the Blu-ray. Nice shiny slipcover. Brilliant, brilliant, beautiful movie. And then I've got Lassie, the uh, three movie collection with Lassie Come Home, The Son of Lassie and The Courage of Lassie. Absolute classics there. And then we've got Belle and Sebastian, which I'm still looking forward to watching. Have I done this in an update? I don't think I have. Um, yeah, this is another movie I bought um, recently. So, yeah. So that's those. And then we'll come down to the movies here. These are in alphabetical order all in their own. So I won't be taking them out because they've got spring mechanism and it's kind of annoying to have to take them out. So um, we'll just read them off. We've got A Dog of Flanders, Ace of Hearts, The Adventures of Greyfriars Bobby, Alaska, that's the uh, Spanish version, but it is um, region uh, two, uh, obviously. Uh, the Amazing Panda Adventure, The Bear, Beethoven, Beethoven Second, The Bellstone Fox, uh, Benji and Be Benji for the love of Benji, Big Miracle, um, Black Beauty, one of my favourite films of all time, uh, The Black Stallion, then we've got Born Free and Living Free, The Call of the Wild, Dolphin Tale, Juma, Eye of the Dolphin, Far From Home, The Adventures of Yellow Dog, Flipper, Fluke, Fly Away Home, again one of my absolute favourites, um, Gentle Ben the Movie, Gentle Ben 2, Gorillas in the Mist, Hatchy a Dog's Tale, and then the last one here we've got The Horse Whisperer, Lassie, uh, that's a 1994 film version of Lassie, and in the classic 2005 um, Lassie film, Marley and Me, my Dog Skip, Paulie, Ring of Bright Water, Shiloh, Spirit Bear, Tarka the Otter, Two Brothers, War Horse and White Lion. Um, I am a huge animal and wildlife lover so I absolutely love all of these films so um, I totally recommend each and every one of them. Um, yep, so that's those. And uh, that's all my other movies. I will be going on to my TV shows next, so I'll recharge again, and I'll see you soon. Okay, so moving on to my TV shows now. Um, first up, I'll go along on top of my DVD shelves, and then I'll show my um, bigger box sets. Um, as you can see, this is the uh, limited edition deluxe Book of Shadows DVD um, of Charmed, the full series. And then I've also got the... Uh, soundtrack there in front of it which makes it look nice um, I did do a video showing the full book but if uh, you want to see another one of those I shall be doing a better one um, I might be deleting my old one and I'll probably do a better video of one of those um, another time so yeah that's charmed and then I've got the special features DVD there then moving on, we've got Desperate Housewives, uh, the complete first season, season two, 
Season 3, Season 4 and 5, 6, 7 and 8. Then we've got Lois and Clark, The Adventures of Superman. That's Season 1, Season 2, Season 3 and Season 4. And then I've got the first season of Supernatural, which I still need to start watching, but I'm really looking forward to seeing it. Then here we've got the complete box set of the classic TV series Bewitched. I'm currently um, watching a few episodes uh, each week, and I'm on season four at the moment. So that's season four disc there. That's how the discs look like. So that's that. And then we'll move on to my bigger box sets here. We've got Doctor Who. This is series one to series four um, from 2005 to 2010, I think, roundabouts. Yeah, it must be. Um, yeah, um, I liked these uh, four series. I wasn't so keen on the fifth series with Matt Smith as the Doctor. Um, yeah, those episodes. Yeah, I haven't been, I haven't watched it since um, those first episodes came out. So, yeah, um, really enjoyed those ones though. And then we've got Friends. This is the uh, extended, exclusive, and unseen 15th anniversary box set. One of my favourite uh, TV box sets in my collection. Not that I have many. And then this is the complete Smallville series collection. Um, I did show this in a uh, full video uh, a little while ago, a good couple of years ago now actually. Um, I am re-watching the show, I'm on season 3 at the moment. Because Tom Welling hasn't been doing uh, so much uh, since the end of series of Smallville. He's, been, he's done a couple of films, small wells and stuff. He did a whole load of promotion for his last film, Draft Day. Um, which he only had a, a, a one or two lines in in the uh, in the film, but um, that was all last year. Um, he has filmed another film called The Choice, which will be out um, uh, next February or next March out for the UK. So yeah, that's something to look forward to. But this year he really hasn't done much, and uh, yeah, we really need to see him again soon. Um, if you want to see the books inside, this is the region uh, one version of the box set. The UK version um, is just like the original box sets that came out, which was really boring. I like the books better. That's that. So that's that. And I'll just move along to uh, some more TV shows that I've got on my other side of the room. So hold on a second. And I'll lastly, this is the last lot of DVDs in my collection. Um, these are all nature documentaries. See, up here I've got most of the uh, David Attenborough series. Um, we've got uh, the uh, Private Life of Prolance, The Living Planet and Life on Earth. This is a DVD collection of Volume 2. Big box set there. Um, and then I've also got Life in the Freezer. Trials of Life, uh, sorry, The uh, Life of Birds, Attenborough in, Attenborough in Paradise, The Life of Mammals, Trials of Life, and Life of Cold Blood. Then we've got The Blue Planet, Planet Earth, Life, and Frozen Planet there. It's got a nice uh, shiny cover, this one. And those are all DVDs. And then down here we've got Africa, the uh, BBC series that aired a couple of years ago. This is on Blu-ray. The more recent uh, series Life Story, which was aired last year. Or earlier this year. Was it last year or earlier this year? I lose track of time. Uh, then we've got Tiger, uh, sorry, the Spy in the Collection with... Um, Elephant Spy in the Herd, Lion Spy in the Den, and Bears Spy in the Woods. Then we've got Tiger Spy in the Jungle. Polar Bear Spy on the Ice, which was only released in Australia for some reason. And uh, then we've got Pink Dolphin Spy in the Pod on Blu-ray. And Penguin Spy in the Huddle. Then we've got 
Yellowstone. Uh, just to read them off. Uh, Wild China. The Orangutan Diary. Big Cat Diaries. Uh, the Complete Series Volume uh, Series One and Series Two. Um, Great Wildlife Moments. This is a documentary film, March of the Penguins. Another documentary film, Deep Blue. This is Earth, which is the same as the Disney Nature film Earth, but released in uh, a different uh, format. Uh, then we've also got Africa, the Serengeti, which is narrated by James Earl Jones, aka Mufasa from The Lion King. Um, last, the Last Lion is a National Geographic uh, documentary. Then we've got Nature, um, Nature, The Adventures of Cloud. Uh, then we've tucked down here um, Jack London's The Call of the Wild. This is a, a TV series. And then moving along to children's TV here, some of my favourite classics. We have, I'll just read them off I think. Um, we've got The Borrowers, Series 1, and The Borrowers, Series 2. And then this is the uh, Animals of Farthing Woods, Season 1 and Series 2. I'll see if I can just try and get them out for you guys. This is the German versions that I bought off um, Amazon. They've never ever been released in the UK, but they have been released in France and Germany for some reason. Um, so yeah, but they do have the English audio uh, soundtrack, so that's fantastic. It's one of my absolute favourite shows as a child and uh, still loves up to this day, so definitely worth checking out, even if you're um, an adult. In fact, it's more of an adult show than a kid's show, really. Um, and that's series two. And then here we've got uh, the Beatrix Potter collection. This is the BBC um, DVD. Absolute classics. Then we've got uh, all the Wallace and Gromit uh, shorts, including a grand day out, the bong trousers, a close shave and a matter of loaf and death. Uh, then we've got the snowman, the classic. This is the 30th anniversary edition. And then the snowman and the snow dog, while not quite as good as the original, um, it's, still, it's still pretty good, pretty moving story. And then we've got the bear, uh, along the same lines. This is another one by Raymond Briggs. And the little charming short um, that was released, that was um, shown on, uh, was it BBC? A couple of years ago at Christmas, Room on the Broom. It was really, really delightful animation and I really loved it. So yeah, that's that. And then we've got here uh, The Wind in the Willows. This is a ITV Studios classic kids collection and this is a uh, animated film. Absolute classic. And then one of my uh, other favourite TV shows, this is The Worst Witch. Based on Jill Murphy's books. That's series one and series two. And this is series three and the full series is actually the spin-off called Weird Sister College. With the um, further adventures of Mildred Hubble. And then I've got seasons one to three of Sabrina the Teenage Witch. Season two. And season three. Those are the best seasons of the series. Um, I did enjoy the rest of them but not quite as much as the first three. So moving on to uh, BBC drama now. We've got uh, Robin Hood. This is the first series. And then the second series. Um, the third series wasn't anywhere near as good for me. Um, there was some redeeming moments in it, but not enough for the getting the DVD in my opinion. I may do eventually, but yeah. And then we've got Torchwood, which I haven't seen in a long, 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 long time. This is season, uh, series one. And series two. They kind of put me off it with the uh, last one they did, which was um, that five episode one. I can't remember what it was called now. Children of Earth or something, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah, that was, ooh, that was too much. The series was really, really good. The first two, anyway. And then we've got um, 
the Sally Lockhart Mysteries with the Ruby and the Smoke and the Shadow in the North. These are based off Philip Pullman's um, classic Sally, Hart, Sally Lockhart um, novels um, with Billy Piper as Sally. These, I absolutely loved those books so I was really happy to have them uh, adapted to the TV series um, or TV dramas. Um, but unfortunately they haven't done the um, third book in the fate they haven't done the third book in this series, which is my absolute favourite, so... And this was uh, a few years ago now, back in 2007 and 8, I think this was, so... I don't think they'll ever make that one. So that's those. And then we've got the number one ladies, ladies detective agency. This is the pilot um, episode. This is based off a series of books by Alexander McCall Smith. Unfortunately, they didn't make any more because Anthony, Anthony Mangella, um, who was, was he the producer or the director of the series? He um, sadly uh, passed away um, in the middle of making them, so fortunately we didn't get any more past the first series and the first one or two books of the series. So yeah, that's a real shame, but I really enjoyed what they did with it. Every time I read the books, I picture these um, actors in the books. So, yeah. Brilliant, brilliant show. And then we've got some comedy here. Um, My Family, BBC Comedy. That's series 1, Series 2, Series 3, and Series 4. Um, it did go on for a long time after that. I think they did about 10 or 11 series, but the first, the, only the first four are any good. Yeah, um, the fir the last lot were pretty poor in my opinion. Um, then we've got the classic BBC comedy. Oh, if I can get it out, I'll show you guys. I don't think I can. It's um Forty Towers. This is the complete uh, remastered collection. I did show um the whole box set in another video a while ago. So if you want to check that out, I'll leave a link below. And then moving down, we've got uh, the Mr. Bean, the Bean's Brilliant box set. It's got all the Bean classics here, all the shorts. This is the 20th anniversary edition. Um, definitely well worth watching. And then on to some more American comedy. We've got The Fresh Prince of Bel-Air Season 1, Season 2, Season 3. Oh, sorry, that's Season 2. That's season four and that's season three. They're all out of order. <laughs> Need to reorganise those. And then um, The Littlest Hobo season one and season two, which I told you about earlier um, from those uh, single discs. Um, this is the official release of the two series here. I wish they released the rest of these series on DVD. Um, but hey, you know, can't have everything. Um, and in here we've got some music DVDs. I've got uh, Within Temptation, the Silent Force tour. Within Temptation are one of my favourite bands of all time. Um, and I did meet Sharon at Denadel one day. Um, it was back in 2011 after their Birmingham um, gig. It was really, really good. And um, then we've got Black Symphony. This is an absolutely masterpiece of a concert, it really is. And then we've also got um, the Let Us Burn um, Blu-ray with uh, the concert of Hydra, their most recent album. Elements and Hydra live in concert. Sorry, my mouth is getting dry. And then Black Moss Night, Paris Moon. Um, Black Moss Night are another of my favourite bands. Um, they're not quite as um, well known as uh, Within Temptation, but they are really, really good, and I enjoy some of their music. And then we've got Blackmore's Night, Castles and Dreams. So that's a few uh, music DVDs there. And last but not least, just quickly show you, you have seen these before. Um, my battery's running low. <laughs> we've got The Simpsons here. We've got Season 1, Season 2, Season 3, Season 4, Season 5, Season 6, 7, 8 and 9. Um, I may be getting Season 10 
Um, but from then on, was The Simpsons sort of goes up and down in terms of quality for me. The most recent ones are just ugh, too too much pop culture related and everything. Yeah, I'm not so keen on the new episodes. Anyway, so um, I've been mumbling way for way too long. Sorry for the ums and ahs again. And uh, thank you for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Okay, take care. Take care. Bye.